When I was in college, I ended up with a 3.92 GPA in software engineering. Hello. But here's the catch, I barely studied. I went to only a couple classes each week, slept in past 10 every day, and hung out with friends pretty much every single night. Here's five simple tips to show how I did it. Number one, have short, intense sessions. When I study, I get in and get out. I rarely ever study more than an hour at a time. What you need to realize is that productivity is the product of effort multiplied by time. For example, you could study for 10 hours at an effort level of one, where you're checking your phone, watching TV, not focused on anything, or you could get the same amount of stuff done if you simply work for one hour at an effort level of 10. I like to set a timer and see how fast I can get my work done. It gives a fun challenge and frees you up to have a lot more free time. Number two, do active learning. In college, there are two kinds of learning active learning and passive learning. For example, if you are sitting in a long lecture on your phone while your professor is going on and on about some topic you don't understand, this is passive learning. Active learning, on the other hand, means you are actually taking personal action to learn what you need to learn. The best way to learn is to make mistakes and then have instant feedback on how to fix your mistakes. Active learning is the best way to do this. When I was in college, I would focus on going through practice exams or other practice problems, and it was always way more helpful to me than listening to some drawn out lecture. Number three, office hours. Office hours are crazy helpful in college. In fact, I found them so helpful, many times I would just skip the class and go to office hours. You get a one-on-one -on -one free tutoring session with the person that knows the material the best. Not to mention the person who also writes the exams and knows the perfect way to help you succeed. When I went to office hours, I would often get my questions answered 10 times faster than when I tried to struggle through them myself. Most professors are dying to have students come visit them, and because of this, they are willing to help you out a lot more than if you just send them an email. Many times, they'll even give extra hints on assignments. Speaking of talking to professors, my number four tip is to get points back on exams. As my uncle once said, the grade you get back on your exam is simply your first offer. Now, I'm not saying you should use some sneaky techniques to get points back you shouldn't, but often professors have a lot of exams to grade and make little mistakes that can add up to a lot of points. I was shocked in college how many points I could get back by simply going to office hours and asking professors for points back on my exam. My final tip is to use ChatGPT. Now, I know ChatGPT has become a bit of a meme these days, but honestly, ChatGPT is super helpful, and its technology and other ones like it are revolutionizing the world. And trust me, the technology isn't going to have to adapt to the academic world. The academic world is going to have to adapt to the technology. I didn't have ChatGPT until my final year of college, but when it came out, it was a game changer for making my studying more productive. It's your own personal tutor, and it's crazy crucial to know how to use it. Obviously, I don't endorse cheating, but in whatever legal ways you can use it, I would say make sure you can leverage this technology to benefit you in the best way possible. All right, that's it. Hope you guys found this content helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. I'm working on some awesome new videos and the support really helps. Thank you again for watching. Farewell.